Good afternoon, New Hope. Um, so glad to be with you again virtually. Just want to highlight uh, as we celebrate this Passion Week, I want to highlight the services coming up this weekend. Uh, Good Friday services are coming up and will be available at 6, 7, and 8 p.m. through YouTube, StreamSpot, and Facebook. Pastor Hawkins will be speaking and we will be sharing in, uh, and celebrating virtual communion. So I look forward to that with you and then also Resurrection Sunday morning. We have a number of services available. Same service, but it'll be played at different times from 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 and 12 noon, and then again later in the day at 4, 5, and 6 p.m. This is going to be a great service. Uh, lots of work uh, behind the scenes, but I think it's going to be a very fun time to celebrate Resurrection Sunday with your families. Don't miss it. You don't want to miss it. Believe me. Today, I want to uh, simply encourage you. Some, some thoughts came to mind and I uh, wanted to share those with you. About expectations, really. Uh, we are celebrating right in the middle of here of Passion Week. We remember this week leading up to our Lord's crucifixion and his resurrection. And I, as I've been thinking about this week, it, it came to me that many of us are really shocked by what we see in the world around us. We're hearing stories of the COVID-19 disease caused by this coronavirus, and, and it's wreaking havoc in countries around the world. Now it's changing our lives right here in Iowa. We see the reaction of the markets to businesses closing and many out of work as our country does its best to respond to this crisis we find ourselves in. I was thinking that regarding expectations, this is not at all what I was expecting for the start of the year 2020. All of these happenings were, were not part of my plan for this new year, yet here we are, feeling out of control, maybe a little lost in the, the data and reports that flood the airways and broadcast streams. Similarly though, Jesus' disciples the guys that followed him for three years of teaching and miracles were in disbelief and feeling lost and bewildered after Jesus was crucified. This was not part of their plan for Jesus. The disciples were jockeying for their place in the earthly kingdom they expected Jesus to set up. They wanted to know who among us is the greatest, Lord. Even though Jesus tells them what will happen, the disciples are shocked when these events play out. In fact, in scripture, Matthew 26, Jesus has just finished teaching on the judgment of humanity, where our good shepherd will separate the sheep from the goats. Starting in verse one, it says, when Jesus had finished all these words, he said to his disciples, you know that after two days the Passover is coming, and the Son of Man is to be handed over for crucifixion. He tells them right there what to expect. He tells his disciples what is coming. Fast forward to resurrection morning. We read in Luke chapter 24. But on the first day of the week, at early dawn, they came to the tomb bringing the spices which they had prepared, and they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. But when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were perplexed about this, behold, two men suddenly stood near them in dazzling clothing. And as the women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground, the men said to them, Why do you seek the living one among the dead? He is not here, but he has risen. Remember how he spoke to you while he was still in Galilee, saying that the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful man and be crucified and on the third day rise again. And the ladies there, they remembered his words and returned from the tomb and reported all these things to the eleven and to all the rest. Now they were Mary Magdalene and Joanna and Mary the mother of James. Also, the other women with them were telling these things to the apostles. But these words appeared to the apostles, to them, as nonsense, and they would not believe them. 
But Peter got up and ran to the tomb, stooping and looking in. He saw the linen wrappings only, and he went away to his home, marveling at what had just happened. So the disciples had been told by Jesus himself what would take place. His words were either forgotten or because they didn't line up with the disciples' expectations, his words were set aside. Even when first-hand accounts of Jesus' resurrection start to come in, they're still in disbelief. And I know that many of us didn't expect the first part of 2020 to play out like it has. As an encouragement, let's remember these passages from Matthew 6 that tell us, Do not worry then, saying, What will we, we eat, or what will we drink, or what will we wear for clothing? For the Gentiles eagerly seek all these things. For your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. And here it is. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will care for itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So New Hope, let's adhere to the words of Jesus as he tells us to seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, God will take care of the rest. He knows what we need and he will provide it. So the year 2020 may not play out according to our expectations, but through scripture, we know how we should respond to each day's trouble. Seek his kingdom, seek his righteousness. New Hope, let me encourage you to love one another in the Lord. Be kind to one another, encourage each other, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. Amen. God bless you.